check out this cinematic video I created with multiple consistent characters. For generations, she was just a legend. A story that was told to keep children away from the caves. That was until yesterday. Now it falls upon us to end this threat. Falkor the Red has awoken, and her reign of terror must end, or we will never have peace again. Thanks to the advancement of AI, anyone can make a creation like this. In this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of how I created both characters and their voices, and how I kept them consistent throughout. Make sure to stay until the end though. The last two steps are where the magic really happens. The first step was to create the characters. Let's start with the sorceress. To do this, I'll head to crea.ai, and under Generate, I'll select the Image tab. I'm going to go with the Base Flux model, and I'm going to start with the following prompt. A beautiful woman, dressed in the flowing robes of a sorceress. Her hood on her robes is thrown back, and she holds a staff with a crystal gem on top of it. Okay, great. This image is perfect. Now, I didn't have to do much adjustment with my prompt to get an image I really liked, but spend as much time as you need on this step for your character. This base image will be very important for the process. I'll use the same process to get the dragon that I want. By far, the hardest part of this project was the dragon. Both image and video generators struggled with keeping this consistent. Let's move on to the warrior. You might have already realized this devilishly handsome warrior. Well, that's my AI avatar. I have a trained model of this avatar saved. Anytime I want to access it at all, I need to do is select Train in the top menu, and I can click on Use with Flux to load it. The prompt I'll use is the following. A battle-hardened warrior in tough leather armor stands with his arms over his chest. His broadsword is strapped in its sheath behind him as he looks intensely at the camera. As you can see, I had to do a few more generations on this one to get what I was looking for, but I ended up with this image. Now, I'll upscale it and move on to the next step. To create the scenes of the movie, there are a few ways we could proceed. I am going to generate the images in the settings I want namely campfire, them walking on the beach and approaching the cave, the cave itself, and the city the dragon will terrorize. You definitely could create the scenes with the characters you want already in them, but I think doing it this way helps with consistency. Before we go to the next step, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to dive even further into the how-to of making videos like this, check out my AI Content Architects community. Okay, back to it. Before we create our videos, I do want to jump to Canva and use their background remover tool. You can skip this step, but adding this step in will save you a bunch of time, frustrations, and credits in the next step. Once we've removed the background from both the warrior and the mage, we will head to Kling.ai. Their new elements model is really the technology that allows us to keep the characters the same throughout. Elements allow you to upload up to four different images to influence the video output. Let's start with the warrior sitting on the beach in front of the fire. I'm going to upload both the image of the warrior without the background and the beach with a fire. With the elements model, you will need to insert a prompt. This should describe how the different elements will interact with each other. I'll use the following prompt. The warrior sitting on a log near the fire looking directly at the camera. You can see the moon, the beach, and the town in the background. He slowly pokes the fire and looks at the camera. I want to use professional mode, a 10 second generation, and 16 by nine aspect ratio. The generation we got was good, the face has a little distortion on it, and we still need to add the lip sync to it, but we'll fix both of those steps before the end of the video. 
Next, we'll do the same thing for the mage sitting in front of the fire. I'll switch her photo for the warrior and the fire with the regular beach photo. The prompt we'll use is the sorceress sitting on a log looking directly at the camera. Her hood is up and her staff sits on her lap. We'll have a few adjustments to that clip before we finalize it, but that's good for now. I used a similar process to animate the rest of the images that we made in Kreia before moving on to the next step. The dragon was by far the hardest part of this process. Big, dynamic movement is much harder for Kling, and I needed multiple generations. Even then, you'll notice that the clips I do show are quick with fast transitions, just the best bits of the overall generations. I couldn't get a full five second clip on the dragon looking good and terrorizing the castle, so a little editing was needed here. Now, to get the voices for both characters, I'll use Eleven Labs. If you don't have a subscription to this tool, there is a way to do this in Kling so you can skip this step. But Eleven Labs does have better audio, so I recommend going this route. From the home screen here, you wanna click on Go to App. If you are creating a character that you will use for multiple videos, it might be worth it to design a voice, but for this demo, I just use some from the library. For my male character voice, I'll search through them using words that describe the voice I want, like deep, strong, calm. Cool, Myths Narrator works perfectly. Click on Use, and now I'll enter the text for each line that I want said in the video by the male narrator. Make sure to only add the script line by line, We'll need small clips to feed the video generator when we add the voice to the video. Generate all the male parts and then find a perfect voice for the female role. I'm going to use Jessica, but slow her down to 0.9, which should help give the dramatic feel I want for the voice. I'll download each voice clip I need before returning to Kling.ai. This step will attach the voiceover that we just created to the videos that we have of the warrior and the mage while they are speaking. This time, instead of selecting images to video, we'll select the lip sync option. For the very first scene of the movie, I'll upload the video of the warrior sitting on the log. If you don't have a subscription to Eleven Labs Audio yet, you could enter your text in this box. Then. Just choose one of the voices that Kling has available. Since we have our clips from Eleven Labs already, we'll click on Upload Local Dubbing and upload the first part of the male script. Hit Generate and we'll get our first video. For generations, she was just a legend. I like how he's looking down at the start, but you can still tell his mouth is moving with the voice. His face does get a little distorted as the video goes on, but that is pretty common and we'll fix it the last step of the process. Now, using the same process here is the first piece of the female speaking part. A story that was told to keep children away from the caves. The face doesn't lose nearly as much clarity on this one, but there is that weird pause at the end that will need to be trimmed during editing. We've only got two steps left before editing, and both of these are optional, but I think they make a ton of difference in the final product, so I wouldn't skip these if I were you. The first step is to upscale the video. For this, I'm going to head over to freepick.com. They just added the Topaz Video Enhancer tool to an already impressive selection of AI tools and premium stock content. I'll go to AI Suite and scroll down until I find the Video Enhancer tool. From here, I'll upload the first video of the warrior talking select 1080p for my output resolution and 60 frames per second. Now hit upscale. In about three minutes, you get this. I won't necessarily run everything through this enhancer, but definitely the speaking parts. If you noticed, even after running the video through the enhancer, the faces, especially of the warrior, are still quite off and not like the original. To fix this, I'm going to run the video through a face swap tool. The one I use can be downloaded and run free from Pinocchio. Once I've opened Face Fusion, I want to make sure that Face Swap is selected. Then for my source image, I'll upload the face reference. And in the target, I'll upload the upscaled video from FreePick. I leave all of the settings as is and scroll down to start. Now, you can see the quality and stability that this adds back into the face 
by looking at the final frame of the first male voiceover part. In the left one, the face is distorted and much rounder, where the right one, after the face swap, retains a lot of detail of the original face. I'll repeat this process for each of the speaking bits and in any generations where movement distorted the face. Once all the video pieces are done, throw it in your favorite video editor and boom. You've got a cinematic video with multiple consistent characters, dynamic scenes, and high quality voiceovers, all without a huge production budget. While some steps require fine tuning, the tools available today make it easier than ever to bring your vision to life. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more AI-powered content. And if you want to dive deeper into creating videos like this, join my AI Content Architects community for exclusive insights and resources. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.